Hey everybody, Anthony with Linux here, back with another Linux learning video. And today what we're going to discuss is a common troubleshooting step or, or common thing to look at when you're diagnosing a, a Linux furnace, and, and that's the hot surface igniter. Uh, specifically today we're going to talk about error code E207, uh, which E207 specifically reads hot surface igniter sensed open. And, and we're going to talk a little bit about what that means and, and the steps that you would need to take to troubleshoot it. So our, our hot surface igniter is a two-wire Molex plug that plugs into the board right here on the right-hand side. And hot surface igniters work off of resistance. When you have an electrical load applied to it, the resistance of the igniter uh, generates a high source of heat, which is what ignites our gas. So to properly check for you know, an open igniter or a faulty igniter, what we're gonna do is we're gonna first de-energize our system by turning our disconnect off. And then anytime you're ohming something, checking resistance, or gonna use the, the ohm scale, we wanna isolate that system. So what we're gonna do to check our ohm reading here is we are going to come down to our igniter plug on the furnace board. We're gonna push in the two tabs on the side and we're gonna remove it from its socket. We're now gonna grab our volt ohm meter, which I've already got set to the ohm scale. We'll take our meter leads, and we're gonna come right into each side of this plug, checking from one side to the other. Now that I've got both my meter leads inserted into the plug, we can see here that our meter is reading 45.7 ohms of resistance, which is a good resistance reading. If you're not somebody who's worked on Lennox furnaces before, you know, all manufacturers are different, but Linux specifically, we like to see an ohm value between 39 and 70 ohms on all of our gas furnaces. So the first step would be to pull our plug here at the board and, and ohm it down here. Now there's another spot with our igniter, if you go further up this wiring bundle, that has another Molex plug connection point. It's always a good idea to check that point as well to make sure there's no break in the harness from the board up to our igniter. So we're going to move the camera and we're going to show next that second connection point where you would check this. All right, we've got our camera positioned. We've now moved up to the heating section of the furnace and you can see our two wire igniter lead has another Molex connection point here in the center. So it's always a good idea to come inspect these terminals, make sure this connection here at this midpoint is tight, it's not loose, and we can also pull this apart here, and now we've completely isolated just our igniter. We can do that same check here, checking the resistance of the igniter by inserting our meter leads into each of the two pins at this connection point. So we've got that in there, and you can see here our, our meter went to 45.7 ohms, which is exactly what we were reading at the connection on the board, meaning that you know not only is the igniter good, but the harness is good all the way through. So by taking these two steps, this is effectively you know, the correct way for us to check the resistance of our igniter. Now there is one more check you wanna verify. If you're having an issue with the furnace and you suspect that that igniter uh, is not glowing or is not energizing like it should, and that would be a voltage check. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give this furnace a demand and we're gonna check our voltage out of our board, making sure that it's supplying the igniter with enough energy to, to glow. Now the value you're gonna look for here is about 120 volts AC. So now that we've passed our ohms or resistance test, the next thing to verify when troubleshooting an igniter is to ensure that it's getting the proper voltage. We've set our meter to volts AC, and we can now insert our meter leads in the back end of the igniter plug during a heat demand. And you can see there we have 120 volts AC applied to that igniter, indicating to us that both the board is sending the correct voltage and the igniter itself has the proper resistance value. The furnace just lit, so our voltage dropped to zero because we've, we've reached ignition. And that is essentially the proper way or the proper few steps you can take to troubleshoot and check out a Lennox igniter. 